Surprise, surprise, another Bandai Namco game that doesn't support ultra-wide 21x9 resolutions. Well, luckily for us, the community has come through. Uh, so a huge thank you goes out to the people that contributed to this fix. Uh, the only person that I know of is this guy at the bottom here, Besubaru. He also posted it on the Steam forums. Uh, there's a couple very minor things you can overlook when editing the EXE, so I figured I'd do a quick video on it just to make sure, uh, just to help somebody out that might be having trouble with it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download a hex editing program. I have HXD and I'll link to that in the description below to make it nice and easy. Once you have that, go ahead and install Codebain. You're going to want to go into your Steam folder. Uh, everyone's going to have this in a different location, but it's generally in C, Program Files, x86, and then Steam. From there, you want to go into Steam Apps, Common, Codevein, Codevein again, Binaries, Win64, and that's where you're going to find the exe file that needs to be edited. It's codevein-win64-shipping.exe. Go ahead and make a copy of it just in case something goes wrong in the editing. You won't have to reinstall the game. Uh, once you have a copy of it, open in the exe and hxd. You could just run hxd, and, and I have a copy of the exe here, which is a fresh exe. You could just drag it right in, and you're going to want to... Uh, Head over to pcgamingwiki.com slash wiki slash code underscore vein. And, of course, I'll link to that in the description as well. Uh, if you scroll down, there's a section for ultra-wide, and it explains how to exit, edit the EXE. So, uh, you know, it explains what I, what I just explained. The first three steps is to go to the path, make a copy of the original EXE. So we're up to step four, and you need to search for this right here. You're going to want to copy it. In HXD, go to search at the top. Uh, you could you could do the replace immediately, I believe, but I like to do things thoroughly. So I'm going to go to search and then find. Now it's by default it's on text string. You want to click on the hex values tab. Uh, you can keep it on forward, however, uh, that's going to present an issue in a minute. So you can you could change that to all. This way, it searches the entire file. Uh, go ahead and search for that and it should come up here now you're going to want to go back to the wiki copy the values that are right next to that one and then go back to hxd and paste and you can see that turn red it pasted properly now you want to search for in step five you want to search for that value that's highlighted again in hxd go to search find now by default, it was on forward before, so if you go ahead and search for that, it, you get this error right here. Can't find whatever. That's why uh, earlier we changed it to all, and that's going to search the entire document. It's probably higher up in the document than the other one is, uh, and then it should pop up. So go ahead and copy the value next to that in step five, replace it, and then you just want to hit save. That's pretty much it. It's going to create this uh, .bat file, and you know that's that that belongs in the same directory as earlier. Uh, just copy the you know do it all in that directory so it stays there, and it'll get your game running at 21 by 9. Of course, it's not perfect. You're still going to see 16 by 9 assets. However, as you can see in the screenshot here, the actual gameplay is 21 by 9. You just get the the HUD still centered. And of course, you get uh, sometimes you get pillar boxing, sometimes you get pillar box effects where you know only the 16 by 9 portion has like a full screen effect or something like that. But it does work and it works really well. All right, hope this helped you out. Peace.